Hey everybody, it's Dan here at My Adventures at Home Drawing, and it's that time once more to go around the world one more time, have a beer or two along the way. So thanks a lot for tuning into my YouTube channel. It is uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, kind of new for me, so thanks for bearing with me as I work through everything. But um, so the reason why I'm doing this video is because I am a bit of a... Uh, I'm a little obsessed with all things Scottish and... And most of you know that I am a bit of a beer geek. And uh, there, if I like a beer, I'm going to talk about it. So there is this beer that I've had that my wife got for me a while back um, from a brewery in Scotland, uh, Williams. Uh, and it's called Thruch. And I hope I say this right. Thruch. F-R-A-O-C-H. So, yeah. So uh, I hope I said it right, but I've had this, but it's a heather ale and heather is like a, is an indigenous plant of, uh, of Scotland. And it's not something that is widely talked about or even known about, I don't think. Um, so what I thought I'd do today is that I found uh, a little bit of a guideline to build a recipe for Thruch. And uh, I thought I would share how to do it within Brewer's Friend. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen and do a bit of a walkthrough talk through uh, uh, while I build this recipe so you guys have an idea. So what we're basically going to be looking at is an original gravity of uh, 1.053, uh, a final gravity of 1014, and an ABV looking at roughly around 5 to 5.5, 5, 5.10%. And an APU of only about 22 and SRM of 4.77. So that's all the technical stuff. So let's get into actually building this bad boy here. And we are going to go into Brewer's Friend. There we are. So this is my account for Brewer's Friend. And a lot of you know that I love this software because you're able to go in and actually start building uh, your recipe. So we're going to go right here to recipe builder. And we are going to name this. That's me. Uh, so we're going to go by like this and it's all grain. So the actual, doo -doo -doo, let's just pull my keyboard down here. So the actual batch size is going to be uh, was it 6.6? I'm going to go to the fermenter and the pre-boil is actually going to be like that. Boom. And the style, where are we? It's going to be a Scottish ale and it's going to be a light Scottish ale. Okay. So if you go down here, it goes to Scottish heavy, Scottish import, and it falls under, I believe that, or it may actually, let's see, do they have historical? Oh, they do have historical. All right. But they don't have what I'm looking for. All right. So we're going to put that under. Where are you? Scottish. Put it under Scottish and a light Scottish. In theory, it would fall under um, it would fall under historical beer because it dates back to 2000 BC. So yeah, so it is a little on the historical side, but I can't find the right spot for it. So be with it. So and post boil size is actually going to be six gallons. So we're going to do what's the boil? What's my pre boil? We're looking at roughly a 70 minute boil. All right, so so in here is where we're actually gonna have everything show up that I just talked about. So right here first, we need about nine pounds of two row. And remember when uh, Lorna or Lorena uh, from Brewer's Friend, uh, Lorena Evans, was telling us about when you're building it, you should see a little green mark. There's my little green mark right here telling me what the di diastolic power is still good, and we're still good there, all right? Diastolic power is measurement of the green, malted greens, enzymatic content. Click for more details. Well, we're not going to do that right now, but we are going to add more malt. So now we're going to do one pound 
whoops, one pound of Kara. Whoops. Carabalt. Which one did I use? 15 lava bond. No, it's not what we wanted. Aramalt. There we go. There, there we go. All right. Still our diastolic power is still good. Here. And then we're going to use a little bit of uh, 0 0.70 ounces of proximity crystal weed. There it is at 60. Uh, yeah, that's the one we want. There we go. So that is everything there. Our dog diastolic is still 125. So we are still good. Uh, now our mash guidelines. So let's see. Thickness, grain, temp. That is 152. And there we go. That's all that done. Now we go down to our yeast. Uh, I think I put, where's my yeast? Yeast, white labs, WLP, zero to eight. Because it's a Scottish ale, we're going to use a Scottish yeast. So that's that. So, so far, this is everything so far. Look at that. So we have our gravities. We have our ABV, our SRM. Okay. And that, that's our color right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our hops. So the hops that we're going to be using are East Kent and Golding. So basically what we're going to start with is... Boop just because it's a little over the place. So this is how I did it. Uh, we're going to use 42.52 grams. How much is that in ounces? I'm curious. Ounces. Nope, doesn't convert it. Okay, we're going to do it in grams. Ounces of yeast. Kent Golding. And we said that goes in at minute 70. Pellets, boil, boop, there we go. Then we're gonna do, add another 20 grams of the same hop. Because it's a nice, easy hop. It's This is not a very, it's not a bitter beer. It's actually quite mellow. Uh, it's actually really nice to drink. And we're gonna put this in at zero. So right up flame out. There, that's done. All right, so, so far, here we go. Is that right? Yeah. So this is everything so far. Okay. So now, because it's a historical beer, we got to add in the heather tips. So you can buy these at your local homebrew store. Uh, they're actually quite floral. It's very mild. And it's actually quite interesting kind of thing. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to add in, the, where are we, grants. We're going to add 75 grams. Heather. All right. Boop. And this is a, what did I put it as? Flavoring. And this goes into the boil. And the first part goes in at 70. So right at the start of the boil. Then add, then we're gonna do, then we have to do, what's the last put? Another 75 grams of Heather. Lay 
behavior. And this is at zero. And this is going to the boil as well. We also have to put in a little bit of whirl flock. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one teaspoon of whirl flock. Whirl flock. Boop. Done. And we're doing this at what, 55? At 55 minutes. That should be everything. I don't worry about things like water chemistry because where I live in Ontario, where I live in Ottawa, the water is really good. And um, I've got a feeling uh, if there was a problem with the actual, um, I don't know, if there was a problem with the water, uh, I would have figured it out by now after all the brews I've done. Um, the one thing I do do a lot of is I do talk to my employer at Straight Out Brewing Company about anything uh, that has to deal with uh, the water, mainly because they have to adjust because they're doing it on such a large scale and go from there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this bad boy. There. That's it. That's our beer done. That is the fro that we just built in Brewer's Friend. And this is what is going to be made on the weekend. So now what we do, we just go view. And there we go, guys. See how easy it is to actually use that software. Real easy. And it tells you everything too. Like when you're doing with the, the yeast, it tells you your optimum temperatures, the attenuation, you know, it's, this is, I just love, love, love this software. So that's it for now, guys. I uh, hope you uh, like this quick little walkthrough, talk through of, of Brewer's Friend and also a little bit about this beer. Um, I will put up on my website, not my website, but on my uh, Facebook page and things like that about, uh, about this beer. And uh, we'll go from there. So uh yeah, so I'm possibly going to be doing a live uh, broadcast on uh, on Saturday or Sunday. And I haven't made up my, my mind when I'm actually going to be brewing, but I am brewing this weekend. And uh, if I'm going to be doing a live feed, I will put it up and go from there. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope all is good. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Thanks, guys.